What we're going to do today is stuff a jalapeno pepper. We're going to use cheese and we're going to use uh, salami. I happen to like salami. I also have a uh, chickpea uh, that dip that I make that I put in a lot of things. But I got a bunch of jalapenos and I've actually had these for two weeks and they're still looking good and I even popped that end off so they wouldn't rip my supermarket bag. And uh, I got a couple of them here. We're going to stuff them. I got provolone and I got cheddar. I got a nice salami and uh, then we're going to bake them. I may make a dough. I'm wondering if I should wrap them in a dough or uh, put something on the outside. Breadcrumb is usually what they use. So I have some eggs. I have some all kinds of stuff. I could whip up some sort of a batter, batter dip them or just wrap a little piece of dough around them. But I'm going to hollow them out. That's where the hot is. You're going to remove a lot of the hot. And uh, then we're going to bake them. I may pre-bake them. I don't know. I'm thinking about, I've done this once before. I wonder if I should bake them first, get them started, then stuff them so I don't destroy the cheese. You know, overwork it. But we're going to try that today. They need to be washed. Like I said, they're two weeks old. And they look good. And the big ones. I picked out big ones. They got a lot of stuffing in there. I got some pretty big ones. I got a couple of shorties here. And I got what looks like a, you know, a commercial-like jalapeno. It'll give a little bend there for the commercial. And that one, I picked that one. That's got a couple of marks in it. Okay, we gotta wash them. Okay, so we use a little ivory soap, just hand soap. I'm gonna rinse them off. Okay, so we want to uh, get the seeds out. I'm going to try my little knife here. Just kind of cut around there so I have a handle. Let me just try to pull them out, which ain't working. Okay, so I cut down through here. There we got one hollowed out. Wasn't that easy. Just 
try another one. So we can just cut the end off. I don't have to get fancy or nothing. Just remove it. And then uh, I got this kind of curved knife. And I'm just going to dig around. And then it's attached at the very bottom. So I'm trying to get down to that point. Get down to the point there and disconnect it. Whoop, went through it in my finger. It's really attached down there. There we go. Shake out the seeds. it at the very bottom. There we go. I'm going to shake out the seeds. They call them the ribs, you know, cutting through the ribs. Trying to get all the way down to that point without making the knife go through it. I want my stuff to fly out through the hole. Okay, we're back. We had a phone call. Cut through the ribs. Try to get all the way down to the point of the jalapeno. And then get it to release. Get it to release and come out. Still a little bit left in there. It's way down there in the bottom. The little one's kind of messy. Well, it's just got to scrape it out. We're going to rinse that out with water. Get what's ever in there. 
I just want to rinse these out with some water and uh, make sure all those seeds are out of there. I'm just going to run them under the faucet. There, now I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there that's going to, uh, you know, foul up the recipe. You want to be careful. <coughs> okay, we're level. I'm going to turn off the camera a little bit and get my ingredients ready. I think we should cook these a little first. Get them started. We're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And uh, I'll get a little oil on these and uh, get them get them uh, just slightly baked. I have some cheddar and some provolone, thinly sliced provolone. This is a uh, chickpeas that I boil in a pressure cooker. I'll save a broth from something I might have made, chicken or whatever. I'll cook them in a broth and then there's spices and, and hot stuff in there. This is kind of like a hot dip. Um, I forget what they call it. It's, uh, it's like a Scottish recipe. It's like a spread that you use. I even put it on pancakes or eggs, a little dollop here and there. But I'm going to stuff some of that in there. And then I just really wanted to use salami, you know, so I went and got, I bought a package of this the other day and I just wound up eating it with the cheese and stuff and uh, now I'm going to put some in a jalapeno. But we're preheating our oven.